Okay, hi, thanks for joining us. This is a special feature on one of our Twice Picks Award winners. And it is a program in its seventh year. It honors the best and most influential consumer technology at CES each year. And with me now is Robbie Cabral, the founder and CEO of Benji Lock, and Mr. Kevin O'Leary, author, entrepreneur, investor, and TV personality. And we're gonna break down how this whole thing got started and where you guys are headed next. So Robbie, let me start with you. Um, you go to CES on a whim, you end up at a Shark Tank audition, uh, you're over at Eureka Park where all the wannabes are stationed. How does all of this go down? Well, it was just that, uh, first of all, thank you so much for having us today. Um, you know, it's just that uh, you, you go with your gut, you know, you have a great idea. And the whole point was to what is the best place to kind of showcase it. And while researching and all that, CES came up and I thought it was the best platform because not only I was able to just be myself in it uh, in the midst of a whole startup world, but then also in the same show, they had also the Shark Tank CES casting call, which I personally never seen the show. Uh, but a lot of people said, hey, you should go in and, and pitch your product there in the in the Shark Tank. It could be a great fit. And so I, I, that's why for me, CES is like home away from home, because it's kind of like where the whole Benji Lock story started. Now, I did watch the episode and as we were talking just a few moments before, it was drama, drama, drama. How did you choose Kevin? Well, I think one of the things that I like a lot about Kevin was the first thing was that he asked me why the guitar on set. <laughs> so I actually told him that, you know, the guitar was part of when I used to be a musician, you used to go on, on a little bus and you have to put like your instruments on the back. So you have to use your lock. And I felt like he kind of had that creativity in it, but then also, uh, he said, what are your thoughts about licensing? And it was always sparking in my, in my head. You know, a lot of big companies coming your way. They want to try to do that for you, but you never see fruition into it. And I felt like he knew what, what it, it really takes to take a product to market. And that's why I went with my gut and I went with Kevin. Kevin, what spoke to you about this whole thing and what, why the licensing? Why did that come to you right away? Lock manufacturing, um, is a heavy, heavy, heavy capital intensive business. I mean, the amount of research and to build the facilities to actually make locks is generally, generally the purvey of a big company. And so if you have an innovation like this, which is a patented innovation, the best strategy I think is to go find a manufacturer that has scale and then bring that technology to them, work out a license deal and roll the product out together uh, which is exactly what we did. And, and I think that that really does, you know, asking Robbie to build a lock manufacturing facility from scratch makes no sense. He's got the innovation. Everybody loves this product because it's so you know, easy to understand and why it's better than the traditional lock is clear, but it needs manufacturing, it needs logistics and distribution and all of that. And Hampton Locks was our partner at the end of the day. We did explore other opportunities, but you know, I have a team that does this full time. I have many, many licensing relationships. So we're particularly good at executing on that. And I thought it was a perfect fit. What about Hampton did you like in particular? Was it um, just their philosophy? Was it just their uh, leverage across, you know, home, uh, you know, portable, just the fact that they could license this product across so many different categories? One of the challenges you always have as a licensor is how big is the entity you're dealing with or how small is it? Because you want to have somebody that pays attention to the product and the innovation and the new brand and all of that together. And Hamptons was the perfect size, not too small, not too big was the Goldilocks solution, but an American manufacturer, well-known in the lock industry, services many sectors of security in the lock industry. So it, it really made sense. And in addition, they were able to, you know, work with the technology and implement it in, our man in their Asian manufacturing facilities. There's a lot of work that went into this. And, you know, obviously you have to think long term when you do that. And we think we're in, a, in good hands here and we can build the brand over time with a great American manufacturer. You would ask Robbie in the uh, episode if he had a patent. I guess that was a deal breaker for you if there wasn't one. 
Not always, but in this case, it would be. I mean, the innovation was really clear. And one of the great things about a product like this on Shark Tank is when you can demonstrate it visually, you know, hundreds of millions of eyeballs see it, which is exactly what happened to Benji Locke. And all the sharks understood the merits of what this did. And it's expanded over time. We've got many different iterations of the technology and as, as it should. And so it was a perfect fit and it became a bit of a legendary story, not yeah. only on Shark Tank, but it's made the, you know, it's made the headlines on Good Morning America, on CNBC, you name it. Um, it's a great innovation. It's, it's, it's a classic, uh, you know, American dream coming true. And that's why this story is so compelling. It is a great story. So now where the products are available, Robbie, tell me a little bit about that. And then Kevin, can you speak to uh, the QVC relationship? Sure. Well, I will say right now, uh, that's the beauty of it, that from the original Benji lock, now we've we've had a, a TSA lock that is for traveling and all that. Um, then we expanded. One of the questions that, that Kevin asked me in the show, I remember, was that, can you put this technology into the door? And I said, yes, we can. And, and that's the beauty of that partnership with Hampton. Then now we also have a, a Benji lock fingerprint door lock. Um, and then also the new product that we just launched at CES, the Benji Lock fingerprint bike lock. So now and that's what won the go, award. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, that's the beauty of it, that, that the fingerprint and key technology were able to expand it from just that first regular lock to now a whole portfolio of products. So what about QVC? How does that play into this? QVC is very interesting and became even more powerful over the last year because of the pandemic. But uh, I, I, I have a pretty big business with QVC in other categories. Uh, O'Leary Fine Wines, for example, pastry is chef wonderful. I do sous vide meats. Uh, it's a multi-million dollar relationship. And so it's really wonderful to be able to bring new innovation and test it, test the price point, test the product, get the feedback from consumers. It's immediate purchase. Benji lock made sense because a lot of people wanted to lock their bikes or their purses or whatever it was. And we were successful right out of the get-go offering the products there and learning a lot about you know, consumer demand at the same time. You have 6 million people watching it per minute. And obviously it was a very easy product to demonstrate. I was able to go on as I traditionally do every month or so and say, this, this is a new innovation from Benji Lock, try this out. And we sold plenty of them and got feedback and uh, you know, adjusted based on that. I really like the QVC relationship. It's, it's, it's an immediate way to go direct to consumer. And that's really what the American Digital 2.0 pivot is. Coming out of the pandemic, direct to consumer is a whole new business model and they're at the forefront of it. It's not just television, it's online, logistics, shipping, in the case of some product categories like wine to 42 states directly. And we were able to ship Benji Lux to almost every state in the country with that relationship. So I'm going to keep that going and I'm going to continue to sell Benji Lux there. And I think it's a great, great way to sell direct. Is there a plan to go international? Will this be something that you take overseas? I'll let Robbie answer that. Well, that, that's one of the things that I, I would love to because, you know, we started here in the States uh, and now with the relationship of Hampton, they have the rights to expand now to Mexico and Canada. Um, that's one of the things that we're working on. And then my goal is to hopefully now beyond that, expand to Europe. I mean, we got Europe. I got customers all over always asking me from, you know, where can I get this product? Um, then you also have South America, which is very big compared with the whole Caribbean, Latin America. Uh, and then also, you know, the whole Middle East part of the of the world that, you know, from Asia, China, I mean, you name it. Uh, I mean, the technology, the, the, that's the cool thing about locks that is very universal and you can use it for anything. So I think we have a great, great big potential ahead. Exactly the word I was thinking is universal. Absolutely. Uh, Kevin, tomorrow I'm on a plane out to Napa Valley. I'm going to be doing some wine tasting. I mean, I'm a novice. Do you have any advice for me knowing that you're a sommelier? Uh, you know what I always suggest is really ex when you get, get to Napa, there's so many different varietals that are grown there now. And, you know, in, in, what's happened with New World Wines, as they're called, in Napa and Sonoma is, including my wines, we've won multiple awards internationally. We make great wine in America. So when you're going there and you go to the different maisons and try their wines, expand your palate. Don't just drink Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon, which is everybody's, you know, tendency to do that because those are the great American wines. But there's Moscato, there's Sauvignon Blanc, there's all kinds of other ideas, Pinot Noir. Expand your palate, try it all when you're there. And that's the great thing about going there. And then of course, 
don't drive. <laughs> no, no. And when I get back, I'm going to pick up a bottle of your wine and give it a sample. I'll let you know what I think of it. That's um, great. Thank you. Before we close out, uh, do you have any advice, Kevin, for those tech startup guys that are going to be watching this that have a hope and a dream just like Robbie? Any, any advice you want to share? Well, we're casting right now for season 13, Shark Tank. We're looking for new ideas. You put together a one minute video, submit it to the site, the website, and you're going to find a producer looking at all of those. And that's where we get our best ideas from, we, we, from submissions. I obviously don't get to see them, but there's you know plenty of producers that do. And the next time I'll see that entrepreneur will be on the set of Shark Tank. But I'm looking forward to this season because you know American innovation never stops. Every year it gets more interesting. And I'm sure in some garage somewhere, there's the next product I'm going to invest in and we're going to see it on Shark Tank. So I would ask everybody that's watching this, get your submissions in now and show a little energy on your video. Like you really want to get it out there and tell your story like Robbie did. No lack of energy there. Do exactly what he did and you'll end up in his situation too. That's the way I look at it. Thank you very much. Now, Robbie, you were going to be a rock star but you ended up a lock star, in my opinion. Rock star to lock star. Where can people go for more information on your products and your story? Well, they can check out uh, BenjiLock.com, uh, you know, to know more about Kevin, myself, uh, and then also purchase the product through there or through Hampton uh, at BuyHampton.com. Or you're available, you know, sell at retailer from hardware stores like Ace Hardware, Walmart. Home Depot to, uh, you know, the up and coming trendy stores like Beta, Urban Outfitters, uh, and also QVC. Sounds great. Thank you, guys. We love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. everyone.